Hey guys, this is Sona Singh, your teacher for biology. Now, uh, often in my classes, people are often confused about DNA, and you must be wondering what I'm doing with these. I mean, this is not a physics class. Why am I? What am I doing with these? Uh, you know, USB cables. So, guys, these are your DNA. So your information, the information that you have about you, your cells, your height, your eye color, your hemoglobin, everything is coded in your DNA. So imagine these strings to be your DNA. You join together these strings. It makes a hooping amount of two meters of DNA inside your each cells. This is too much. It can't get in, right? So you need to arrange them. How do you arrange them? Well, there is that is where proteins come in. So let us take one of our proteins. So this is what this is a protein, and what is it called? This is called histone. Now the DNA wraps around these proteins easily. You can see, and hence my huge DNA is wrapped around this small structure. This is beta a chromosome. This is a chromosome. You have. the fixed length of dna and you have fixed number of such chromosomes although it does not quite look like this it looks like kind of i a uh, uh, a big thread that that's, that's it so the number of these chromosomes are fixed for a species so you me your father your mother we all have 46 such chromosomes just because we have the fixed amount of dna now you must be wondering okay so dna is done protein is done what's chromatin So guys this DNA wraps around proteins right this complex is called chromatin so DNA is this protein is this together they are chromatin but when they condense to form structure that becomes visible inside a microscope that's a chromosome but what's gene now this chromosome is huge right let's say that this segment contains all the information about your eye color the next segment contains all the information about your hemoglobin these segments are genes so what is a gene a length of dna that contains information about any of your characteristics because of the he uh, human genome project which started in 1990 and ended in about 2003 we now know that we have about 20500 genes inside us so genes control everything so you your dna and chimpanzee's dna is not very different so you'll say sir why you look very different now some people say they are our ancestors so that is why we have similar dna but no they are not our ancestors they are our cousins so we shared a common ancestor about 7 million years before but since then we separated out and we developed as a different species now known as homo sapiens so yes indeed You and a chimpanzee have a great deal of similarity. You need hemoglobin, a chimpanzee needs hemoglobin, so you will have a very similar gene, right? You have two eyes, they have two eyes, you will have a very similar gene. So that similarity of the DNA that you always find in results is because of the same requirements. We have the same kind of characteristics and hence the same kind of genes encoding them. Now, do I want my wire to get damaged? So any changes in my wire, any changes in my in my DNA, that is a mutation. A mutation will alter the character. If I cut this piece of wire, my mobile and my iPad are going to get charged. Same way, if you cut the DNA, if you modify the DNA, it will bring changes in character. That you do not want. So we want to preserve our DNA. We do not want mutations, and we want that our DNA stays as it is. But that changes in the dna is what drives evolution so let's say today this part of the dna codes for hemoglobin which can bind to four oxygen molecules but by an error while you are you were trying to copy the dna you created a mutation that now increased the binding capacity of oxygen from 4 to 5 now the hemoglobin can bind to five oxygen molecules that is an advantage so such a species such a human species with that particular mutation can reproduce more why because he will be fit 
he or she will be fit. Why he or she will be fit? He can carry more oxygen. Hence, maybe his brain size increases, right? So several times when we have such mutations that give us an advantage compared to others, the amount of such genes, such mutated genes increase in the population and that is how evolution happens. So guys, uh, what did we all study about today? So we talked about DNA, we talked about chromatin, chromosome, we talked about genes, and we talked about mutations and how the mutations drive evolution. I hope you were able to learn something. Stay tuned. We are going to build, uh, bring more such videos to help you out through education.